Arctic Forum in Russia is underway. It's into its second and last day, and the issues being discussed there are not limited to the Arctic region, it appears. During the session, Vladimir Putin answered some questions on US-Russia relations. Take a listen. I just want to be very clear about this. You and the Russian government did never try to influence the outcome of the US presidential election, <laughs> and there will be no evidence found. Read my lips. No. <laughs> well, that was firm and short and to the point. RT Petrenka has been across this forum for us. He's there now. Ilya, what did the president have to say? Give us some more detail. Kevin, hi again. Just as you were saying, the issues of the northern regions of the northern hemisphere, discussions on them quickly turned into a very pacey Q&A for Vladimir Putin on U.S.-Russia relations. Now, let's just go through some of the other things Vladimir Putin had to say. He admitted that the relations between the two countries have reached rock bottom, although he is saying that for the Russians, the U.S. remains a great nation uh, that Moscow really wants to be genuine friends and uh, partners with. Although, uh, according to the Russian leader, uh, there are some in the U.S. who are trying to win political gains through playing what uh, he called the anti-Russian card. Now, uh, Mr. Putin also pointed at the difference how the ambassadors of the two countries are being treated in Russia and the U.S. He personally welcomed and uh, Mr. John Teft, who is Washington's ambassador in Moscow. Vladimir Putin says that during the forum, he was able to talk to many different Russian officials and top businessmen, while when it comes to Mr. Kislak, that's Moscow's ambassador in Washington, every meeting that he has with uh, some kind of U.S. official by some people in the U.S. is portrayed as some kind of uh, spy get-together, and this is what really Vladimir Putin slammed. Now, earlier also, the president uh, said that Moscow uh, doesn't see any potential conflict in the Arctic, even in uh, the determining of borders, because we do understand that with the global warming, everyone does want to get a slice of that Arctic pie. Uh, we understand that the ocean is melting, and by 2014, it is predicted to be ice-free for an entire month of the year. New shipping routes will open up, and rich deposits of Arctic resources will become accessible. So the main prize for those whose interests there would be the vast reservoirs of oil and gas that are thought to be concealed under the ice. And uh, the rest of the forum was a lot about environmental issues, about transport issues, things that I have mentioned. Now, a little later in the program, watch my report from inside the walls of the International Arctic Forum in Arkhangelsk. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, interesting topics coming up there, potentially tricky ones as well, so it's good to see it's being covered and tackled at early stages. Ilya Petrenko from the Arctic Forum in Russia's northwest. Thanks for the update for now. We we'll look forward to your report. And just to remind our viewers as well, you can watch Ilya's report from the Arctic Forum a little bit later, as he said, this hour.